Splatoon 3 weapons. You own, like, dozens of these. But what are they really thinking about? Here's what. You, you gotta get me out of here, man. What you're watching isn't an accurate representation of what he's using me for. When this match is over, he's gonna use me as a cheese grater. Do you understand how embarrassing that is? I should be splatting octolings, not shredding cheese for your snack breaks. Hey, hey, what are you doing? How am I not your first pick every time? I am literally the rebirth of a Splatoon 1 classic. You see the number of likes and quote retweets that my kit reveal got on Twitter? Yeah, put the splat roller down. Get back to me. Thank you. You know, they should have thought to put a torpedo on my kit sooner. I've already basically had a torpedo-shaped end this whole time. Thank goodness someone finally had some sense. Okay, okay, I know. I know it's been a few months, but I just have to ask. Do you think pink is a good color on me? Whether you're yellow or blue or green, I'm always pink. Does it make you stand out? Does it make me stand out I I in a good way? I hope so. Sometimes I wonder, what was the plan? Going from orange to yellow to pink? So then I was like, how many spots does an Inkling's tentacle have on average? And the answer was... Ah! Oh, sorry. Killer whale. Now, back to what I was talking about. Hear me out. If the concept of Cupid was more common in the Splatlands, I could have an entirely new purpose. Do you think you could just fire just one arrow at the next two opponents you see? Don't splat them. Just fire an arrow and see what happens. I'll be honest. My cool ice blue exterior shields the average inkling from realizing how nervous I get every time you start zip casting all over the place. Like... Hello? Can you just slow down just once? If you planned out where you were going to fly just one time, maybe I wouldn't feel so winded at the end of every five minute match. Hey, what kind of sick joke was it to add Autobomb to my kit? When you spin around my image, how different am I truly from an Autobomb in shape? Please, please tell me I'm not the only one seeing this. One time, my owner threw me at a tree to test a long-running chainsaw theory running around about my capabilities. But instead of cutting the tree in half, I just kind of bounced off and left my intricate markings behind on the tree. Now I barely get to be used in battles anymore because my owner is selling Splatana Stamper-inspired tree bark art imported directly from the woods behind Camp Triggerfish. What a waste of time. <laughs> Anytime someone asks me what I can't do, I tell them I don't know. Because I think I've got great potential, but most Inklings don't realize the power of a limitless point sensor machine. That's on them. There will never come a day where I don't feel important. You know why? Because my design is basically the same as the Incadian Kensa Luna Blaster. You should see the way some Inklings look at me in the store, mesmerized by my familiar style. So yeah, there's no way I'm not getting my fair share of battles. Ah, <sighs> it's another beautiful day. The sun is shining, the match is starting, the maps are open. Oh yeah, that's all that really matters. The maps are open. It's another day for me to wreak absolute havoc on the innocents. Come here, little ones. I think the people who decided Fizzy Bomb should be my sub-weapon just wanted every inkling who buys a ballpoint splatling to hear all my intricate machinery rumble and rustle around for like five minutes straight. I'm glad nothing's broke yet. Wee! 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 Oh, the game's over. Hey! 
Hey, I, I can make a tongue twister just from trying to vocalize the sound I make. It goes swipe, 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 swipe. Phew. That's that's enough of that. Did you know that the five H is a representation of the pencil that I am based off of? Let's see what the internet has to say about my origins. <laughs> and oh, uh, well, I guess I'll just be going. Did you have a laugh? This is actually a sequel to a couple of videos I made back during the Splatoon 2 time, and I've linked them in the description if you want more giggles. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a good one.